Hi, this is Natalie Hoffman of FlyingFreeNow.com, and you're listening to the Flying Free Podcast, a support resource for women of faith looking for hope and healing from hidden emotional and spiritual abuse. Welcome to episode 103 of the Flying Free Podcast. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to three friends of mine who have been part of the Flying Free program since it started in 2017. All three of these women are survivors who have made tremendous personal progress. And part of that progress has been doing things like going back to school, getting educated in different areas of their own interest, gaining experience. And a lot of their experience has been in helping Christian women in different areas of their lives. And each one of them has a different way of helping women with a different kind of a focus, which I think is fascinating. Marion, she has specialized in grief recovery. Stace, Marion Mullinax. Stacy Wynn, I'm going to introduce you to her. She has a lot of education under her belt and experience, but something that she's taken an interest in lately is is helping people with faith recovery. And Barb Spanier, um, when she uh, when she talks about her experience, she's going to be talking more about trauma recovery. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to we'll start with Barb. All right. And how about if you tell us a little bit about yourself? Why, why don't you tell us what you do and why you do it and kind of what you, your, your favorite ways of helping women or how you enjoy helping women with your experience and your education? Sure. I, um, after I got my divorce numerous years ago, I decided to go back to school and I got my master's in transpersonal psychology with a specialization in coaching. And so I am a certified credential life coach through um, the ICF, which is the coaching federation. And then I am also currently um, decided to get more education. So in my second year in my PhD program, where I am researching um, a topic that's near and dear to all of our hearts, which is how gender roles in the church has contributed to emotional spiritual abuse, as well as healing modalities for the trauma that women have experienced that have gone through that. So That's what I do in my practice. Part of what I do as a life coach is I help women on their journey, wherever they are on their journey, to walk from their calm, centered self. I think that's what we all want to do, right? We all want to live through our authentic, courageous, confident self. And so often, when we've been traumatized and when we've been in a destructive marriage or we've been in emotional abuse or spiritual abuse, we make choices and we live out of choices and actions that maybe from our critical part of us, or maybe it's from this younger girl part of us or Maybe it's this angry part, and those are the choices that we're making. But what we really want to do is make our choices out of ourself that is balanced and harmonious. And no matter where you are on your journey, that's the women I coach, wherever they are in their journey, and they want to start making their choices from a self that is clear and that they know where they want to move from. What is your, what's your favorite part about the work that you do now? I think my favorite part is just working with women and having them move from that point of feeling like their voice is not heard and all of a sudden practicing their voice and they feel empowered. It's like, Mm -hmm. I did this. 
and they take these little steps at a time. And all of a sudden they look back and they're like, whoa, look what I just did. And it's that empowered feeling of movement and living authentically from their heart. Mm -hmm. Neat. Okay. So where would people be able to find you if they wanted to look into your, what you offer your services and integrative coaching for life.com. Okay. So integrative coaching for life.com. Yep. Okay. That's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. (laughs) I will have, I will have links to her website as well as Stacy's and Marion's in the show notes. You would just, all you'd have to do to, to get to those is go to flyingfreenow.com forward slash one zero three, because this is episode 103. So um, all the links will be there. Okay. Well, thank you, Barb. Stacy, let's do you next. Why don't you tell us about the work you do and your experience? You have had you've had a couple of different careers and made a transition in the last couple of years. So tell us about that. Yeah, it's ironic that uh, I call my coaching clarity coaching because I I think I've I've definitely traveled that path myself. And I would just love to start out, Natalie, and just thank you for the work that you do because. Finding you in 2016 was instrumental in my own journey, and I'm just uh, grateful for the opportunity to kind of give back in in your community. Mm, So thank you for that. Um, I started out thinking I was going to be in the Army as an aviator and uh, ended up because of an injury in corporate America. So I have a I've got a long tenure of corporate leadership Um, I've experienced leadership from a military perspective, from a corporate perspective, and got involved in ministry and and leadership and leadership roles as well. I always kind of gravitate to that. And when I went through my, um, when my marriage imploded, it was really a shock and surprise to me because I felt like I kind of had it together, but this really took me by surprise. Mm. And one of the things that really changed for me in that process is uh, seeing church in a new way and uh, a community of people that were less responsive than you would hope for and actually very exclusive. And um, that made me start to wonder what I knew and what I didn't know truly about my own faith and my relationship with God. So in addition to um, the leadership experience and the career experience that I've had and ministry experience, I started to go on this faith deconstruction journey. So um, although I had become a certified coach back in 2012 and I was still working full time in my career, I ultimately ended up leaving that career and moving into a career coaching Role. I've been doing that for three years now. So every day I work with clients who are transitioning in between jobs. And um, it seems like I just keep gravitating in this coaching world around this, and which is really helping to equip and empower people to really come to terms again many times with what they do well, and then helping them transfer those skills into a new direction. Okay. Now, when I pull all that together now with the clarity coaching program that I have, and um, part of my journey too is just feeling called into ministry. So I'm, I'm about five classes from finishing my master's of divinity. Um, really excited about that pursuit because I've learned so much and it's helped me really help others sit in the tension of deconstruction which is not knowing for sure really what's a tradition of man versus really what's from God. And there's a lot of tension and, and, and a lot of questions and experience in that place. And that's where I love to be. So I love to be right in there with people. Um, so clarity coaching really and what I do is, is two different things. So thing one is coaching individuals through their process. I'm a certified Myers-Briggs facilitator. I use that as a foundation. Um, Really get to know yourself again, your strengths, your voice, your purpose, all of those things. And then we can incorporate some of what's holding women and I even coach men back from their career 
pursuits or personal pursuits, just what their purpose is and what direction they want to head into. And sometimes that even goes into ministry, which I love. And then the second thing is this deconstruction zone. And I'm happy to be doing that in your community. Uh, It's a weekly call with people who are in this faith journey and um, have been kind of ostracized potentially from family and church. They want to pursue faith in God. They want to split off those traditions of man and uh, find their new place and purpose. And and that's uh, those are the two ways that I see the ministry and my experience and education sort of coming together now. Yeah, I love that. So why don't you tell us what your favorite part is about the work that you do? I see, I got a, one of the um, visions that I get in my head is just of chains breaking. Mm. And I know that sounds so cliche, but it really was something I saw one day of just this picture of hands with chains that were breaking. And I think that um, my favorite part is just seeing freedom, that freedom wash over somebody who has just been kind of chained by bad theology, bad doctrine, harmful communities and relationships. And just to see those chains come off, it's just been uh, amazing for me. I love that. That's awesome. Super great. Thanks so much, Stacy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And finally, let's talk to Marion and find out, you tell us about yourself and your work. Because you're completely different too. All three of these ladies bring something totally different to the table. It's very fascinating. Yeah, I'm Marian Molinax, and I am an advanced grief recovery specialist. Um, I was trained in 2010, certified by the um, Grief Recovery Institute. And then I got my advanced training this past March, uh, right as everything was being shut down. Um, And I take people through a textbook workbook. So what I do is considered education, not psychotherapy. And I take you through this book and teach you how to process pain, how to process that stuff that's keeping you stuck. Um, And we go through basically a relationship. So maybe your husband and that what that relationship is and try to find all the points of that relationship that need to be communicated that never were just so you can vocalize them. You don't necessarily have to say them to the the ex, um, but that you know what they are and you can get them out and give them to God and um, and then say goodbye to the pain and the isolation and fear. Um, And then if if it's possible, we can go back through again with another relationship, maybe the, the original home family unit. If there were problems there, we can, we just do work each relationship one at a time, peeling off those pieces. Yeah. And um, then we could do one on faith, on God, you know, that relationship with God. And, you know, apologize, forgive, and make statements that we need to say. So, and you have a lot of experience with grief. You've walked through grief in a lot of different ways. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, so it, it took me a while to realize what I was going through. I didn't know what to name it. Somewhere in the back of my head, I knew there was emotional abuse, but it was like, okay, there's emotional abuse. I didn't even know it till I found Flying Free. It was like, oh, yes, opened up my world. It's like, okay, just the knowledge of that is so, (gasps) it it Mm -hmm. does something to your heart. And that wound maybe that was had scarred over with shoving it out of the way, it opens it back up and says, no, you need to deal with this. Here's how I, I put it as like, like you, like a burn victim. You have to rub everything off, all the dead skin off till you get to the raw spot yeah. and then you heal. So I finally got the courage to leave my husband. Um, he committed suicide um, after the right when we were ready for the judge to sign the paperwork. My, and that was, you know, three, three years ago the very first experience I had was my, I I had identical triplets that were stillborn. And that was 23 years ago, Mm -hmm. uh, this coming Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um, My mother died a year after my husband, my 13 year old, he's 14 now, after my husband, after his death, uh, he began having massive panic attacks. It led to psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and dissociating. He couldn't go to school. He couldn't go in a restaurant, couldn't go to a movie, just 
And that I was like, okay, now really, <laughs> now what, what I had to figure out what that was. And, you know, the cobbler can't make shoes for his own children. Right. Mm. That saying, so being a grief specialist, I could tell my kids kind of about some stuff, but that's too close to home, I guess. Right. So I can only do what I can and just pray. Um, but we got neurotherapy, which putting electrodes on his head, doing games, playing games. And we've done it for just over a year now. And he is uh, a different child. He is back to his wow. normal, awkward self. <laughs> wow. Normal teenage. Yay. Yes. Praise God. Oh. Um, yeah. So I just, and, and then, you know, God is using me. God's been healing me. And there's a whole healing component to what God is doing. And the, the training that I have, it is, it is not faith-based, but God, I'm trying to take what God teaches me and, and intertwine that. So I have to set that aside and say, okay, we're done with grief recovery. Now we're going to just pray and just mm. envelop that person in prayer and see where that goes. Okay. So, I mean, your, your subject is so kind of heavy and serious. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite part about the work that you do? When, when people get it, um, it's hard. It is hard. It is mm -hmm. painful. And that's just the sad truth about it. And some people are willing and want to be free. And they, if they want to do that, they will do it. They will do the work that needs to be done. Some people are so stuck and it's so hard and so sad to watch them. But the, the best part is when they've overcome that and get on the other side yeah. of it. And say, yeah. Was I always ask, was that as hard as you thought it would be? And it never was. It was yeah. easier. We we build up such a wall and have such fear, and it's always easier than we think. Yeah. Well, I think resisting, whenever we're resisting something, pushing it away or fighting against it, it makes it worse. Yeah. It really does. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you, all three of you, for um, telling us a little bit about yourselves. Uh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Um, Stacy and Marion, we need to hear, why don't you verbally, I mean, I'll have the links on the show notes, but verbally let us know where people can find you. Stacy, where can people find you? Sure. Clarityunleashed.com. Okay. Clarityunleashed.com. And Marion, what about you? AthensGriefRecovery.com. Okay, so Athens, like Athens, Greece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, Athens, Georgia. So. It's Athens, Georgia. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, now the one of the reasons that I wanted to introduce all of you to these three women is because I'm going to be creating a coaches page where they their um, bios and their their images and this video actually is going to go on that page. So that I can refer people when people come to me and ask me, hey, can you know, how can you help me? This is one of the resources that I can refer them to. These are women that I've worked with. I know them. I trust them. And I can confidently refer people to them. Um, another reason is that all three of these women are going to be helping me in 2021 with a new program that we've been working on for, uh, well, since June. When do we, actually, it's been since last April, April 2020. And we're launching it to the public today. It's January 27th. Of course, we're recording this in December, but it's January 27th when this is airing. And today, this, this program is opening up for the very first time. And all three of these women are going to be working in this program with me in the following way. First of all, let me tell you a little bit about the program. And then I'll tell you how Stacy and Barb and Marion are helping me. Um, the program is for divorced Christian women, and it's called Flying Higher. And the reason that we developed this program is because um, we have this program called Flying Free for Christian women who are in destructive relationships. But a lot of those women, um, when they get out of those relationships and they've done a lot of healing and they're ready to kind of rebuild their lives, they don't know they, they, there wasn't really anything out there for them to really focus on the rebuilding process. 
And so, I mean, as you know, divorce leaves us with all of these colossal losses. You know, we've got financial losses, there's spiritual fallout, there's relationship losses. Many ha- people have lost their churches, their churches, their homes, um, careers get disrupted. Um, or maybe you were a mom. A lot of us were middle-aged and we were moms when everything happened. And then our kids are, we're becoming empty nesters and now we're left kind of on our own and not really sure what to do with our lives. Um, and also women are emotionally and physically depleted after all of, after all of that. And they are left feeling sad, a lot of grief, a lot of disillusionment. Um, some of them are just really kind of unmotivated to get started again. They lack confidence and they feel a lot of fear and maybe even feel kind of paralyzed. And so what they tend to do, what I'm observing that they tend to do is they tend to spin in circles and have a really hard time getting traction in their lives. Um, some of them buffer with food or with um, sleeping. Many of them are depressed. Social media, binge watching Netflix, shopping, procrastinating, getting out there and starting up a career, pushing people away because they're afraid of relationships now, or maybe even trying to control certain relationships, trying to get back some control in their life. And so they kind of go overboard the other way. Um, And then the result really is that they're unable to rebuild their lives in the ways that they really, really want to. So flying higher is designed to help divorced Christian women do exactly that, rebuild their lives in seven different areas. One area is in their relationships with themselves and with other people. Number two, their mental and emotional health. Number three, their physical health. Four, their faith. Five, their environment. So their home or apartment space, their car, their office space. Um, Six, their finances. And seven, their purpose or their mission, which could include things like their career or their volunteer work or maybe hobbies or their goals in life, okay? And we Fly and Hire helps them in these seven areas through weekly classes, weekly coaching, uh, a private forum, and a private podcast, which basically, it's like a, it's a, it is a podcast, but it holds all of our classes and our coaching sessions. And new for this year, this is where these three women come into play. We're going to be trying a bi-weekly group gathering where on Tuesday and every other Tuesday night, one of these women will be coming in and facilitating a, they're going to teach a little, do a little bit of teaching, maybe 10 minutes of teaching a concept and then having a group discussion there's some going to be some coaching going on and just group, just group discussion. So people will get on a Zoom meeting just like this, and it will look like this. Whoever wants to show up will come and with their video on, and then you guys will get to know each other and get to know one of these coaches. Um, you also can get to know these women if you're in the Fly and Hire program in the private forum, because these women are moderating spaces in there. You can interact with them. You can ask them questions and and they can help you out in the private forum as well. So um, if you want to know more about Flying Hire, it's only going to be open starting today through February 2nd, and then it's closing down for six months. And the reason that we do that is so that we can really dig deep and get to know the people that are actually in the group. So we get a people that are onboarding, and then we just dig in for six months, and then we'll open it up again for new people in six months. Uh, if you, I also want to invite those of you who are interested in learning more to a free workshop that I'm going to do tonight at seven o'clock. Um, now, if you're listening to this podcast and it's nighttime, you'll miss tonight's, but tonight at seven o'clock PM central standard time, and I'm going to, it's going to be live and I'm going to do an, the same workshop live tomorrow morning on the 28th at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. And in this workshop, it's just going to be a short, like half an hour workshop. And then I'm going to open it up for a discussion and Q&A. Okay. So if you're interested in that, um, it's December right now. And unfortunately, I haven't thought far enough ahead to make a URL for this. But if you go to the joinflyinghire.com page, 
That's where you can actually register for Flying Hire. There will also be a link on there. I'll just put a link on there that takes you to the registration page for the free workshop. So you can, um, you don't have to register for Flying Hire at that moment if you want to come to the workshop and interact with me a little bit first. And then you can go back and register if you want to. But I'll have that link on there. And also, I will have a direct link to registration for the free workshop on the show notes page for this particular podcast episode, which again is flyingfreenow.com forward slash 103. I think that's it. I want to thank all three of you women for coming on here and introducing yourselves. And I hope that some of you who are listening or watching will join us because we, all three of these women have been in flying higher. We started in April. So we've been doing flying higher for several months now. And I think it's been magnificent. I think we've had a great time. I think the women have made huge progress in their lives. Um, there maybe have been a, str a few stragglers who haven't really done much of it because they've been so busy. It was 2020. I mean, it's been an absolutely insane year. So, but I'm hoping that 2021 will be different for all of us and we'll be able to dig in and do even more hard work. This is the t an intense program, wouldn't you say, compared to Flying Free? Definitely. Yeah. So it's an intense program, but I will say there's <laughs> no pain, no gain, right? So if you want to change your life, you got to dig in. And here's the thing, we're going to, all, all four of us, are gonna help you guys do that, all right? We can do it if we do it together. And that's what this is all about. All right, so thank you so much for listening. And until next time, why free?